Hey everyone, Lions Minos here. This is episode 8 of Illumination. How is everyone doing today? So we finished up in the last episode with the mob farm. Um, one cool thing that I found out is that when you walk under one of these tanks that's set to the purple mode, the output mode, if you have a tank or a, a fluid vessel in your inventory it will actually automatically output to it. So I don't even need to um, I don't even need to right click it, I don't need to do nothing, I just got to walk underneath it and I collect the items. So first thing I want to do is, I want to, I had the issue with the items, um, I've got a creeper pet. I found him in a chest all the way down the bottom there and over to the right. It was a, a, um, a cave system that sort of goes off to the right and it ends up with a um, an inventory pet's little dungeon thing where if you step on the floor it spawns a, a zombie so I sort of just crawled around the walls and and picked up the stuff out of the chest uh, which means I've got like some uh, some nuggets and stuff around right first things first uh, what have I got here can I take just want a new hat. Excellent. Right, um, what I want to do is I want to make some changes to the bottom of the mob farm. Mob farm. First thing of which is I want to make um, I think it's this. This is from Dark Utilities. This is an ender hopper. Apparently it can collect items from a range around it. Um, so what I would like to do is actually change out the mob farm, mob farm, to um, allow us to do something other than the the hoppers. So what we can do is how much of this do I have? I've got 23 of these. How many do I need for the pedestal? So I need nine. 12, 15. Uh, now, Main Freak did suggest this one here, but that takes 15 for this, and then another 14 worth that have been charged with blood to get the next level up. So maybe once I get a, a ton more, I will, will upgrade them, but for the start, I'm just going to go with this. So let's get, let's get 15. 13, 15. And we will make another pedestal. So we can do another spiked plate on top of that and the other tank. I don't know if we have fluid hoppers or any sort of conduit. Perhaps we do. I mean, we've got... I don't know what integrated dynamics things do. I don't know how that one works. Conduit. No conduits. Um, yeah, so I guess there's something from this that I could potentially move liquids around, but um, let's head over here. I hope there's nothing spawned. That would be unfortunate if that was the case. What I want to do is I want to move this chest. It does have some cool stuff in it. We're getting some, some nice bits and pieces. Uh, do we have a chest transporter in this pack? No, what about a moving wand? Oh, uh, well, we got some... That's uh, drawers. Oh, well, you know what? Probably don't even need to do that. Oh, yeah, I do. Come on, come with me. Alright, what I'll do is I want to put the drawer... I want to put the drawer here, and I think, I don't know if this needs to be, because if you look at this, teleports nearby items into the container it is attached to. Sneak and right click on the hopper should display the reach of the hopper unless disabled. I don't know. Let's, um... Let's put him on top of this chest. 
I'm hoping that will pick stuff up. I mean, there's only one way to find out. Let's just throw something on the ground. Zoop. Cool. I just don't know if it'll pick things up up there. Uh, so let's put our other pedestal in this corner. Like that. And our tank here. Put them into export mode. Zoop. That should have gone into here. Cool. Uh, so that is picking things up. I don't know if it's picking up um, from up in the farm though. So I need to need to work that out. I also need to get up there and put a spike plate on top. So let's get rid of these items that we have. But you've got some cool items. There's definitely um, some good stuff here. I'm not sure which of these chests has any room. This one does. There we go. Uh, so let's get rid of these bits and pieces. A lot of bones. I'm keeping some gunpowder on me because of this. So basically, immune to explosions. I guess that stops me from being blown up. Maybe. Uh, right. So let's. Is it daytime? Yes. I've always got to be very careful coming out here. I haven't upgraded the fences yet. Oh look, it does show. That's cool. So there you go. So that's the area that this hopper will pick up in. So if I throw anything in that area, assuming it goes over there, zoop. You gonna pick it up? There it goes. Cool. So that's definitely the solution to our problem. So the hoppers can go. Um, so as soon as I get, and I will back, go back down there and shift click that again. As soon as I can get um, some more gems, we can um, get this thing working. So that's cool. Really? Things can spawn on that. I just put a spiked plate on there. Yeah, spiked plate on top of a sanguinate ransom pedestal. Oh, you know what? If if you guys can spawn there, then then that's your problem. All right, it's becoming afternoon. I think there's a baddie hanging out over here. Hello. Hey, buddy. Yeah. I guess I'm immune to explosions. Well, anyway, I might have been far enough away. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! I take that. And your friends. <laughs> we should be getting lots of blood now. Excellent. Nice little working system. Okay, um, what I need to do is I'm going to wait until tomorrow. I want to try and get up there. And I'm going to take a crafting table with me. A regular crafting table. Because from memory and reading this book here, to, to do this next piece, zoom in. I want to make this the resonating wand. We've got these ancient shrines. It says, da, 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 da. Um, but it says, it may be placing a crafting table nearby would yield interesting results. So this thing here is made in light shining at it when crafting. So if we grab an ender pearl, the two marble, and the two aqua. aqua well, marine. Wow. I don't know why I had trouble saying that. Two of them. Uh, I did have an ender pearl. Is it in here? No, I probably dumped it in here. Cool. That, that, and two marble. That's alabaster. 
So there's all of that. Till then. Okay, so if I take these things up there, and then the other thing I want to look at, maybe there's something deep under it. Okay. The other thing I want to look at is this one, the luminous crafting table. Using a regular crafting table to interact with starlight emitted by the shrine crystal, henceforth labelled as collector crystals, seems to be rather inefficient. The table is only able to receive a small amount of starlight from the crystal. The table must be very close. Hmm. Okay. It's so able to absorb and utilise a much larger amount of starlight than the crafting table in the ruins. Also, it does not require a connection to the collector crystal. So, if if we can take this stuff as well, we can make this crafting table while we're up there. So I'm going to need another six marble. I'm going to need sooty marble, which apparently is just marble around a coal. So let's. Which chest was it that had the marble in it? it was this one? Okay. So let's grab a piece of coal. Can we make some sooty marble? Very nice. Um, I'm going to need another crafting table because we need to craft in the crafting table. Yep. And then no, need the book. Is that it? Sooty and then normal marble. So we've got normal marble, we've got sooty, we've got crafting tables. So these are the two crafts that I want to do while I'm up there, but I don't want to do it at night. So let's sleep through the night. Squeaky squeaky chair. I'm going to switch over. Oop, 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 oop. I need to I need to move this. Um, I'm going to. Take that pick and swap it over. All right, tons of junk. Let's go. Yeah, there will probably be creepers out here somewhere. Oh, spider! I need that spider. I remember. Hey, buddy, can I have your eye, please? Please, give me an eye, man. Just want your eye. You don't need it. Sheesh. Freak. Right. I'm hoping I'll get spider eye at some point. Let's go over to this crystal thing. So there's some mobs over here, so I should just turn that off for now. Apologies if that was annoying anyone at the start. Um, obviously it does have its uses, but um, sometimes it's not fun to have it on all the time. Make sure there's nothing in here that's going to eat me. There's a bit of a storm brewing over there. Oop, need to hop up the hill. Missed. Okay, so let's get up to one of these ones. Skelly. Hey buddy. How you doing? Pleasure to meet you. Glad you're here. Um, I'm wondering if I need to put this like right there. That seemed probably the right place. So let's give it a go. One resonating wand. There we go. And then we needed the other thing which was this and this, which should give us a luminous crafting table. That looks really cool. Drilling down onto the top of it there. I'm going to leave that there. Um, did I leave anything behind when I was last up here? Just some marble. <gasps> Spider eyes. <laughs> I need them. I'll have them, thank you. Alright, um, so I guess we could probably hand in a couple of quests there, couldn't we? Let's have a real quick look. Uh, it's in here, mid-game. So we now have the resonating wand. I'm going to get a, a loot bag for that. 
read the Astral Sorcerer Journal for more information. Starlight Crafting Altar. Have oh, ooh, we've got exploration now. It's in here. Crystal tools. Starlight Crafting Altar. A light well. Okay, so I guess we're gonna. That night, strange crystalline liquid seems to collect on the Amarine room. Ish. Thanks, buddy. How'd you go? I only took a little bit of death. I must be fairly immune to the <laughs> the explosion. So thank you, Mr. Creeper. Thank you very much. Um, I guess I'm going to need to investigate what I require to get um, something else creeping up on me. To make these, I need rock crystal. The deepest reach. To, okay, so that's why we need uh, uh, this little thing, the resonating one. I don't know what to do with it. But that's cool. So let's head back to base. Because I'm guessing at this very second, this may be a good table for us to, to use. I don't know, maybe I need to continue to... You know what I should have done. And this is going to be a little cheaty. But I'm going to do it anyway. Do, 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 do. Because, you know, there, there are certain things that I do as a YouTuber. And um, just in order to make recording just a little bit easier. One of which is teleport. Um, now, yeah, okay, there are mods and stuff that allow you to teleport around. Ouch. That's not where I wanted to be. Um, but there's also... I want to get out. There's also functions built into modded Minecraft that allow moving around and setting waypoints and that sort of junk. So, probably... Maybe if I light this room up a little, we won't keep things spawning in here. So let's put a couple of torches around. But what I'm thinking is I go set home two to here. And then when I want to go home, I go home one. Excellent, I'm home. And then when I go back up there, it's home two. So let's eat. Make sure nothing's in the base. Nope. Cool. Um, right. I'm not sure whether this thing can work outside, but... Let's look at our book. And can I claim this? Cool. I want to do this thing. So I should have everything for that now. And yes, inventory full of junk. Uh, this, this, and one of them gets us a promise of tenacity. Which was a quest. So we're going to get iron ingots and a chest pet. But I don't have any room in my inventory. Story of my life. Let's dump that and that. Some of that stuff for the, for the moment. Can I claim you? Thank you. Okay. Infuse dull dust with the power of stolen blood to create redstone dust in the blood infuser. Okay, so what is dull dust? Dull? Dull dust is sugar and gunpowder. So I'm going to need, what, four crafts of that? So 28 sugar and a bunch of gunpowder. Got gunpowder. Got, um... Sugar out here. Right, twelve, close. Let's grab some more food. So I don't know what these things do. Can I right, right click it or something? 
Machine tier upgrade, also usable for lower tier recipes. Tank capacity by two, usable in the blood infuser. Colossal blood chest. Okay, there's a colossal blood chest. Sanguin sanguinary environmental accelerator, spirit furnace and spirit reanimator. So does that mean in here, I can put this here? What does it give me? Okay, so I can now put 40... 40,000... 40 buckets of blood. Okay. Yep, cool. Meh. Not the greatest thing in the world. Alright, so yeah, this dull dust. Let's... Let's throw things away. Does the processor do this? Is this something I can... Let's remove this for a second. I just want to see if... Place this here. Protect that. I almost want to set up another system, like over here for this furnace. Um, what do we got? Just a coal nugget. I throw that over there. Will you work on that? No. Or maybe. We'll find out in a second. Uh, well, 60 seconds, one minute. Uh, really not sure if it's going to do anything with that. I don't know how this works. I'll read the book in a minute. Let's read the book. Read the manual. Oh, too far. Um, knowledge, please. Oh, really? That, that's that's a little annoying. I've got to zoom out and then zoom in again. Okay, so this thing here. Using crafting table near one of the strange crystals. Da, da, da. This unlocks various crafting recipes are not normally possible. I want that thing. Resonating wand also has some other curious properties. When it is held in either hand at night, it vibrates and emits energetic sparks of white light that gather in seemingly random locations around the surface of the lamp. Nothing seems out of place or special on the surface, so. Okay, so. Yeah, that does nothing. Um, so at night, I can go outside and hold this wand. And it will make things glow. Okay. Something different. So we need some sugar. And this is just going to be like uh, Lens Minoz's Jumping Simulator 2017 for a second. Do, do, do. Not sure how much we've got. I'm going to do the whole lot that I've got in my hand though. I think I actually need one more. Um, but we'll take this wand upstairs, so we'll wait for night time. As I've said before, not a fan of night time. Too many scary things out there that want to eat my face. Um, not really happy with things that want to eat my face. That's not very nice. I finish. Um, so once, once we go and check out what this wand does, what do we get? 24. Well, let's just give it a go. Is that the bowl? I've got the bowl back. Um, got three. So I need 32. I need one more craft. Oh, look, I've got some sugar in here. So I need two more? Yeah, two more. I do apologise for, for this being a thing at the moment. But we need this to progress, so, you know. For some things, you need to do the hard work. Alright, so that should be everything. Alright, so there's our dull dust. So that's the 32 dull dust we need. Yep, okay. So I need 32 redstone, which means I just need to put these... In here. 
I'm not sure how much blooded. It probably would have told me. Wow, that uses a lot of blood. <laughs> I'm glad I set up that mob farm. Uh, let's go and collect what's in it. Go and have a look. I'll go turn off that thing too, don't I? Should I shift right click? Purple line gone? Cool. Uh, what did I get? Anything? Not really. I really would have expected more blood than that. And uh, I guess not much has happened up there then because. Oh well. Maybe because I was too far away. I did chunk load the area. So that hoping that we would. Um, hoping that we. I'll open the door. We'd get more mobs. Do I need to right click? Do I just need to stand here? I could have sworn I should right click that thing. Do I need to be at a certain time of night? Need to break things. Resident Evil 1 also has another camera. When it is held in either hand at night, it vibrates and emits energetic sparks of white light that gather in seemingly random locations around the surface of the land. I'm holding it. Night time. I don't think it's done anything. Okay. Let's look over there. We've got some some guys fighting again. So this is um not what I'm expecting. I don't see any things. Any glowing particles. Lots of mobs. Time to go back down to my hidey hole. Okay, so that doesn't quite do what I think it's meant to do. Uh, do I need to go down deep and use it? I don't know. Do I need to charge it? So this is where I was earlier, um, and I found that, that mob thing. Alright, so I don't know how this wand works. <laughs> I thought I did. Uh, Alright, I think we're getting pretty close to wrapping up. Um, actually, let's, let's like, let's risk it. Do I need to be near one of these? Do I need to like, summon, summon something? No? I kind of want to close this off actually, like. Put a door on it so that nothing can get in here and we can teleport to and from as needed. Um, yeah, so that I don't know how this is meant to work. Maybe there's something deep underground. Okay, so I guess the next thing there is to make this, and this is the ore that we're looking after rock crystal ore. So I guess I'm going to have to do something in between episodes to work out um, where I've got to go. So in exploration, I'm going to start looking into these things to, to need to find this, and then I'm going to make. Well, next episode we'll do this maybe. Um, but until then, I'm going to duck home. Um, I'm going to wrap up here. Oh, we've got six of them. <laughs> I need more blood. So yeah, we, to get this I'm going to need a lot more blood, I'm going to need a lot more things spawning and a lot more uh, things dying. But this this is sort of working, what, 1455, 
It's about a half a bucket per redstone, so I'm going to need a lot of blood. So I'm going to play a little bit in between. Uh, thank you everyone for watching the episode. Please leave your comments down below. And um, hopefully, I swear I turned you off. It turns itself off. Um, hopefully next episode we'll we'll get a little bit a little bit further. I saw the purple line. It's still there, isn't it? All right. Thanks for watching. See you later.